Hey guys, Full Tilt Gaming here, and today we are back for another challenge video. And in this challenge, as you can see, we are in the ECHL right now. And what I want to see is how dominant an NHL team would be in the ECHL. So, I've taken the best team in the NHL, the Pittsburgh Penguins, and switched them with their ECHL team. And uh, we'll see how dominant they can be in this league. I think they're probably, well, I mean, they're obviously going to win the championship or whatever. I'm not really sure how, well, they obviously probably have playoffs. They only have 72 games in their season. So I'll sim to roughly about halfway through. Oh, they only play on like the weekends, it seems. Okay. It was just October's a weird month for them, I guess. Um, so I'm going to sim to about January and I will be back in a minute. Okay, so we're just about halfway through the year, and the this team is even more dominant than I expected them to be. I mean, I knew they were going to win a lot of games, but I didn't think that they were going to win all of them, even though they are head over heels better than any other player in this league. But 37-0-0, 37-game winning streak, I'm expecting some huge statistical years for some people. Like, Malkin's already at 69 points, and he, he's at, like, two points a game right now, almost. Like, that's incredible. So, I mean, we're gonna, we can look at this, but I think we already know who's in first. Let's see how, we have a 24-point lead on the people in second. And they're having a pretty good year, 25 wins and 13 losses. Like, that's not too bad, but we have 4.92 goals per game and 0 0.92 goals against per game. Like, we're just 31.5% power play. Um, penalty kill is 90. So, we're, we're really good. The, the Wheeling Nailers. That's a pretty sick name, actually. But, so let's check out the player stats. Malcolm is 69 points. He's almost, he has 30 goals, 39 assists. Like, that's just incredible. Crosby's also doing pretty well. We have um, one, two, three. We have six players who are above a point a game right now, and many who are just short of it. So let's check out my goalies. I'm actually interested in seeing my goalies how they're doing. Um, wow, 0.93 goals against and 0.88 goals against. Uh, 938, 948, 11 shutouts and two shutouts. So they're both uh, they're both doing pretty well, I must say. So let's see. Hopefully we can actually keep this perfect season alive till the end of the year. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Okay, so we're at the end of the season now. And this this is just so heartbreaking. They lost on the fourth last game of the year, their first loss and only loss of the year. That's just terrible that they could 71 one and zero. I can't believe they actually lost the game. They had some close ones though. They had a couple overtime wins. I think they had a, sh they had a shootout win here, but a lot of them were blowouts. But we did lose one game. I can't believe we actually did that. Um, yeah, I don't th think we really need to look at the overall standings because well were in first. Um, points, 118 for Malkin in 72 games, 53 goals, 65 assists. That's pretty good. Look at these. Chris Letang was plus 104, and Oli Mata was plus 91. Um, so we had, at the end of the year, six players who were above a point a game. Uh, 82 points for a defenseman is pretty good. Um, Let's see who the lowest scoring person was. Ian Cole with 17 points, and he's not really someone you expect to score too much, so that's still not too bad. Um, let's check out the goalies. Who got that loss? Flurry got the loss. He played 48 games and only let in 50 goals. That is insane. 1.04 goals against and 0.99 goals against. Um, oh, uh, Murray played 24 games and let in 24 goals. That's save percentage 936, 942, 
18 shutouts, 9 shutouts. So let's just check the standings overall in the entire league. I'm assuming. Yeah, I, we, uh. Fleury definitely was the number one goalie in the league. So let's check out all skaters. And our six guys here were the number one. Martin Havlat was in this, is in the ECHL. I didn't know that. Uh, I actually know a couple of these guys: David Booth, T.J. Galliardi, Ted, Tyler Kennedy, Brad. St I actually know a lot of these guys from uh, the NHL. But so the closest person who was from this league got 70 points in 72 games, which isn't too bad. But Pittsburgh Penguins are just too dominant. So let's just hope they'll probably just sweep the entire playoffs. So I'll just sim through all of that right now. It'll probably give us our matchup. Yeah. Oh, this is the team that beat us once. This is the team that beat us once. So if they pull off the major upset, upset that would be that'd be crazy. So I'll just sim four games ahead because it'll probably just take four. Yeah, that's it. Four straight so let's simulate a week ahead and we're playing against Manchester we lost the first game we lost the first game wow but we'll probably just win the rest yeah we did um, and now the third round we'll sim ahead these four games 10 nothing win in game 4. And then we'll simulate it a week ahead. And we're playing against QC something. I don't know. Quad City Ballards. Okay. Um, so let's simulate to here and we should get the win. And we do. We are the playoff champions. The Pittsburgh Penguins would be absolutely dominant in the ECHL. So let's just check the playoff stats. Can I do that? Some, I guess I just go stat central. Uh, can I look at playoff stats? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we actually did lose a game in the playoffs. So that's surprising. 27 points for Crosby in the playoffs in 17 games. Um, four players were above a point a game. So that's it's it's pretty good. Not gonna lie, that's pretty impressive. So that's going to be the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy this one, please leave a like. Uh, give me some more suggestions in the comment sections. And subscribe if you have not done that already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.